What is modernism? I'm not talking here about some kind of art movement, but uh, what St. Pope Pius X referred to in Pescendi and in other works of his, uh, denouncing this great scourge for the church, a compendium of all heresies. What's it all about? In many ways, we're soaking in it, so it's hard to tell. But in, in essence, modernism and the problem of modernism is making everything very subjective, reducing everything just to my experience of things, which re is relatable, but which can be very different to that of other people's experiences. And I can't always blame the Holy Spirit and say, well, the Spirit moved me. Well, maybe it was just myself, especially when other people have quite different experiences. Um, there is a certain objective side to the faith. There's a certain content to the faith. Uh, and it is based on the historical Jesus. And the way we have access to the historical Jesus is through the memory of the church. Uh, a point that was pointed out by a Protestant theologian more than a hundred years ago, but we've still really to learn that lesson. I'll give you an example of modernism. I think when I was seven years old or thereabouts, I faced the crisis of Santa. Uh, Normally, I'd get a present from mum and dad and then a present from Santa. And one year, I only got a present from Santa. And I thought, well, hang on, what's going on? Mum and dad didn't give me a present for Christmas. And the penny dropped, you know, there's no Santa. I was very sad about that. And I, and I entered into a, a modernist phase for about a couple of weeks where I started thinking to myself, well, what matters is the spirit of Santa. Uh, that did not last long. And the problem with modernism in the faith is that it often gives way to atheism. You know, you say, well, in the end, it's just feelings and feelings alone. So we do need to really get into the sources of who Jesus Christ was and is and continues to be. And that is through the church, through the memory of the church, through going back with the help of the apostolic succession, with the uh, primacy of the Pope uh, in deciding this is from Jesus and, and this is not. All of that together brings us to some understanding of Jesus of Nazareth. And I could recommend strongly uh, reading the works of Joseph Ratzinger on Jesus of Nazareth, which deal with the problem of modernism in a very elegant way.